So what do you do on a Sunday afternoon? Is it mow the lawn or do you go to that local computer fair you saw an advert for in the paper? You pop along to the fair and there's maybe 30 or 40 people there showing a range of stuff, maybe a cheap sound card or a cheap bit of software at a knockdown price. Or perhaps you've been to ECTS, but then again, that only takes about 45 minutes to walk around. If you want a big trade fair, you need to come to Hanover in Germany because this is CBIT 2007 and it's bloody enormous. Okay, so let's give you a quick walk through of CBIT. The main entrance normally you're coming up here or over here. Starting off over here is digital equipment and systems, which is uh, computer components. So that's going to be your graphics guys, motherboards, mainboards, chipsets, memory, all that sort of stuff. That's then going to push through later in the afternoon into the communication section, which is your mobile phones, GPS, sat nav, and so on and so forth. Moving across into the sort of like the west of the area there, you've got your business processes, which is all of the kind of the back office sort of thing. But coming down from the north, Coming in is a mix of the two. So you've got this occluded front here where you can see the business processes and the digital equipment and systems. And then just over here, you've got the banking and finance sector segregated all on their own because after all, they are a bunch of merchant bankers. Now CBIT is nearly 40 halls, each the size of a football pitch. Several of the halls will be dedicated to one particular area of technology. This one is banking and finance. So we need to get the hell out before we end up with a second mortgage. No, I wasn't really in a fish tank. Just goes to show the quality of this panel here on the uh, Fuji film, Fuji color stand. Fishy, 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 fishy! Okay, so here we are. This is still the day before CBIT, so um, yeah, there's still a lot of rubbish around as they're setting up the stands. But this is Hall 21, where a lot of the action is going to be happening. All the big guys are here. So um, we've got, oh, look at that. This is uh, Rabba from AMD. Rabba? Hello, mate. How are you doing? They've just got, they've got a massive presence here. They're in, they're in the other hall over there. Um, <laughs> we're on you camera, dude. Good. Yeah, how are yeah. you? Um, just over behind us is uh, the XFX stand. This is uh, Yoast from XFX. Hey, Yoast. How are you, how you doing? doing? All right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. You? Good, good. It's getting on nicely. Almost there. Yeah. Almost you got a there. nicer bus than you had like the year before last. Yeah, but that was my own. And this, this is new. <laughs> you still got that bus, have you? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> but I'm going to put this on eBay if you want. If you want to buy it, you can buy it after the show. I would, I would if yeah. you didn't have him on it. A good day to come to CBIT is the day before because a lot of the stuff that's going to be announced the following day, the day the show opens, is on the stands now. So if you're sneaky, you can get in and get a sneak peek of what's going on. So Foxconn here have got loads of stuff, which we'll be having a look at later. But something really interesting is this here from Zalman. Now Zalman have got these new 3D monitors, okay, which are uh, used, which are so new, they haven't actually got a name yet. So they're talking Trimax or maybe Trimon. Now the good thing about these is that they actually use polarized light. So someone who's partially colorblind, like myself, will still be able to see the full 3D effect. Now, you'll be looking at a, a shot of these uh, and you can't actually see much of this 3D. It looks a bit blurry. That's because it actually uses polarized light and a stereoscopic image. So you put some special glasses on and you're away. But the key thing is they don't rely on color to give you the 3D effect. Now Zalman are announcing these tomorrow. So let's go and have a look at what else is going on. So walking around CBIT whilst they're setting up, everyone's a bit more relaxed and you actually bump into a lot of the big personalities within the technology world. And um, oh, over there, there you go, there's David Ross. Uh, and next to him, Paul Dutton trying to remain inconspicuous and behind him, Matt Davey. Uh, Davey's actually uh, notorious for breaking stands before they're even open, but you know, we won't talk any more about that. But more interesting than him is this. This is the uh, P357AB motherboard from Foxconn, and this is a DDR3 motherboard. So if you've got some DDR3 memory, God knows why you would have, but there you go, you can actually slot it into that. So these are just some of the new things which you see before the shows even open. But on a more serious note, CBIT can be make or break for many smaller companies. If you take a walk around the edge of the halls, you'll see a lot of small stands with perhaps just one or two people on them, and that company is selling just one product, maybe a range of 50 different RJ45 plugs, or perhaps just a single type of Cat5 cable. The point is, if these guys don't do a deal which will last them till next year, the cost of the booth, getting here, and supplying the people could actually break the bank for that company. 
Right, so we've been walking around uh, CBIT 2007 before it opens. This is the ABIT stand. And this is a cask... <laughs> this is a cascade compressor. And the reason I'm giggling, this is three compressors. It compresses, compresses, compresses. Chills, chills, chills. And we'll get a CPU core down to minus 100. Now he's just plugged it in and it's blown the entire booth. Right, so just so you know, what's going to be happening here is the reason they're trying to get this thing going is because they're going to see if they can maybe break a few world records um, for overclocking. Now we're going to be coming back to them uh, and uh, James Morris is actually going to be talking to the guy who's going to be uh, doing the overclocking using this absolute beast of a compressor which has been lent to them by the builder himself uh, from over in the US. So uh, you need to check back on Hexus TV because not only are we covering everything going on at CBIT, we're covering everything that goes off at CBIT. All the big players are here and behind me is one of the many Intel stands. In fact, they've got a massive presence here at CBIT 2007. Um, but they'd have to be, they're one of the biggest. It'd be absurd if they didn't. I mean, imagine turning up to CBIT 2007 and finding NVIDIA didn't have a stand. Anyway, keep checking back all this week as we bring you live news from CBIT 2007 on Hexus TV.